<sighs> You've been acting weird. Is something bothering you? Hey! Isn't that the local college nearby? No, I have no idea what you're talking about. Come on, Caitlin, let me see. Back off, it's none of your business. Caitlin, I've been your friend for a long time. You know you're going to tell me eventually. Mm, fine, here. It's a brochure for the local college. I was thinking about, I don't know, looking at it. Caitlin, that's wonderful. What would you major in? Theater. And uh, not so much as major in it, as much as I just want to take a class or something. You? Really? Caitlin, I never knew you were interested in theater. I mean, I knew you could sing, uh, but performing in front of others? Pardon me for saying this, but you get angry every time you're shy, and don't you have stage fright? That's why I wanted to go. To get over that, or learn how to. I don't know. I mostly would like to direct or write a play. Well, do it. You have my full support. Heck, I'll even drive you there on my way to work in the morning. Thanks, Jeffrey. That's sweet, but I'm not going. What? Why not? For the reasons you pointed out. I've been thinking about it, but I just can't. Caitlin, you have to! Drop it, Jeffrey! I said I'm not going! You need to stop being so stubborn, Caitlin! Ah, you're so encouraging! Stop it! <sighs> Caitlin, look. This is just going to end up in us fighting and then dueling to prove who's right. I'm going to step out before this gets too crazy. Just know that I really think you should follow your dreams. Come talk to me when your temper cools off. I don't know how I feel about ponies having a human form. It just seems like a ploy to sell more toys. Well, we can't judge it until we watch it, now can we? Yes, we can. No, we can't! Xanet, you're supposed to be more open-minded. I was open-minded when I wore that maid outfit, and I already regret that decision. Oh, but you look so pretty. No. <laughs> Zane, I think you... Ah, Jeffrey! Uh, what are you doing here? I I thought you and Caitlin had stepped out. <laughs> oh, hey, Afmo. Zane. Jeffrey. Anyway, we did step out for a bit, but she decided she didn't want to go out after all, so we just hung out in her room. I see. Um... <laughs> We weren't watching ponies or anything, just just changing the channel is all. <laughs> uh, okay. Say, Afmo, can I talk to you for a second? Uh, um, sh sure. Uh, pardon me, Zane. <laughs> what? Theater? Caitlin? I thought the same thing, but she's serious about it. I can tell. Do you think that maybe you can try to inspire her to pursue it? Like, take her to a play or something, or have one? I don't know. I just want to know she's getting inspired. <sighs> I don't know, Jeffrey. If you do this for me, I'll buy you all the Olive Garden you can eat. R really? Uh, not like a date or anything, right? Nope. I'll even take Abby with us. She loves that place. You've got a deal. Thanks, Afmal. I'm heading off to pick Abby up. See you later. And remember, I'm counting on you. Don't worry. I'm on it. What was that about? Zane, I'm gonna need your help. Hey, Afmal. Zane. Ah! Uh, uh, Caitlin! Uh, you're just in time! Uh, Zane was telling me about this, uh, the, uh, neighborhood play he's sponsoring. Wh what Ow! Play along. Was that pun intended? Yes, just roll with it, please. Ahem, <clears throat> yes, I'm sponsoring the neighborhood play, I guess. Really? What kind of play? Oh, 
uh, well, th that, that that's what we were just talking about right now, actually. <laughs> Zane has no idea, so we were just throwing thoughts around. <laughs> I'm sure this theater stuff is nothing you would be interested in, so uh, c c carry on with what you were uh, going to do. Wait, uh, um, do you need any help? Believe it or not, I took theater in high school, and, uh, I might be able to help you. Oh, uh, what would you be able to do, uh, Caitlin? Well, uh, I can direct. If you need someone, that is. Wait, aren't I supposed to- Gah! Perfect! You're great at bossing people around, and we need that. So, um, what do you have in mind, uh, Mr. Director? Uh, well... It's super cliche, but I've always wanted to direct Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> That's perfect, too! Why don't you go and prepare whatever it is that you need to for this play, and uh, Zane and I, we, we need to talk a little bit. You bet we do! Really? You'll let me do this? I don't even know what's going on. Absolutely! <laughs> Awesome! You won't be disappointed, I swear! Wow, look how happy she is. Afmal! There is no such thing as a neighborhood play! Oh, really? Not even if I promise to give you my limited edition Celestia and Luna ponies in mint condition? The, the ones with the little sun and moon hairbrush? <laughs> with the matching tiaras. Uh, deal! Hmm, so where do we even begin to start getting ready for a play? Well, usually we start with a place to have it, then we hold auditions. Uh, what about sets and scenery? Not to mention costumes. <gasps> oh, my Irene cadenza will be perfect for costumes! <laughs> One thing at a time. We have to wait for Caitlin before we can start working on scenery and costumes. Oh, <laughs> I, I guess you're right. Hmm. So tell me, why exactly are you forcing me to have this neighborhood play? Uh, oh, d but, uh, no, no reason, no reason, <laughs> n nothing at all. What did Jeffrey tell you in the kitchen? Uh, uh, promise not to tell. I don't see who I would tell, seeing as I have no other friends aside from you. Uh, I mean, you could tell the ponies. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just playing with you, Zane. Look, Jeffrey wants to get Caitlyn involved in, um, well, um, he just, he just wants her to have a hobby, I, I guess. <laughs> You're hiding something from me. Uh, I'm sorry, Zane. I can't tell you right now, but trust me, this is a good thing, and I'm not trying to set you up. I just think that it's something that should be personal and kept to Caitlyn. I'm sorry. I would tell you if I could. Honestly, I would. No need to apologize. You're just being a good friend. Just know that at the end of this deal, there's Olive Garden involved. A lot of it. <laughs> you... <laughs> so, are you okay with this? <sighs> yes, I'm fine with it. I suppose an event like this will build the community. Uh, thank you so much, Zane. I promise, I'll take the lead in putting this all together. Just let Caitlyn have full creative control, okay? I'm not even going to deal with her. She and Jeffrey don't like me. So I'm leaving this all up to you. Understood. I got it. I can do this. But, I suppose the one thing I can help with is getting the theater for the performance. The community center down the road has one we can use. I'll go there now and see if we can book the place. Uh, really? Zane! Zane, that would be perfect! <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just make sure you have my ponies ready for me when this is all done. <laughs> I sure will, Zane. Don't you worry. I got this all under control. <sighs> This is awesome! How hard can putting a play together be? Plus, 
Caitlin's in charge, so this is a perfect way for her to expand her creative, uh, uh, theater uh, -ness. uh, yeah. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna go check on her and see how she's doing. Gotta make sure she keeps up her creative thought process. Uh, Caitlin! Caitlin, I'm coming in! Woohoo! Hi! Afmel, I have so many ideas, it's not even funny. Uh, perfect! So, is there, uh, anything I can do to help, or, you know... Is there anything? There's everything! Afmel, we need actors. Uh, actors? Uh... Yes! We need people to audition for the play! Where is the place that's hosting the performance? Uh, it... Uh, the the com com community center down down the, down the street. Yes, that place. <laughs> that place? Well, I guess I will have to do. Hmm. All right, Athmau. I need to go around the neighborhood and find people to act in the play. Uh, but me? Uh, yes, you. You just said you wanted to help, so now you have a task. Actually, you should consider auditioning for the play yourself, Athmau. You'd make a perfect Juliet. <laughs> no, thank you. I um, already have uh, too much drama in my life. <laughs> it's a joke. Cause... Well, we need someone to play Juliet. So, Atmau, go out there and find people in the neighborhood who want to audition. I think I might spend some time writing a new version of Romeo and Juliet. Or maybe I'll just use a classic play. Hmm. Choices, choices. Uh, Atmau, have everyone meet at the community center tonight at dusk. We'll hold some preliminary editions there. Uh, okay, well, I will leave you to do your thing, Miss Director, Lady, Ma'am. <laughs> wow, she's really getting into this, which is a great thing because oh, I'm kind of really excited for her. This is slowly not becoming more about Olive Garden and becoming more about actually Caitlyn being happy. Um, all right, so let's see. Uh, Kawai Chan, Kawai Chan, I'm coming inside. Hello. Uh, can I have that poster already? Um, anyway. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Uh, Kawai Chan, I need to talk to you. Afmal Senpai? Um, Kawai Chan, Caitlin is directing the neighborhood play and needs actors. You should go on audition. Oh, Kawai Chan would love to. Count her in. <laughs> Great. Meet at the community center at dusk. Caitlin will be holding pre auditions there or something like that. Preliminary? I don't know, but just give me that poster. Anyway, I'll see you later, Kawai Chan. <sighs> Let's see. Well,. I should probably go to the guy's house across the street. I'm sure they'd love to audition for that play. Let's see. Hmm. I think they would audition. I mean, I'm not entirely sure now that I think about it. I mean, I think that... Uh, I don't want to say that they would all make a great Romeo, but... I wonder who's going to be playing Juliet. Huh. Koichi might be a good audition, but we'll see. Um. Hello? Lawrence? I see you. <laughs> hey, Afmau. What brings you here? Lawrence, I wanted to let you know that there's going to be a neighborhood play going on and Caitlin, the one and only, is going to be directing it. <laughs> Caitlin? Really? What play is it? <laughs> Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> Very cliche, don't you think? Uh, yes, but Caitlin... Seems like she's always wanted to direct that play, so why not? Fair enough. So you just wanted to tell me that? Uh, not just that, but... Caitlin is going to be holding auditions for actors tonight around dusk, and I wanted to see if you guys would be interested. <laughs> no, th Wait, are you Juliet? Uh, <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm just helping Caitlin put this all together. I see. Darn. Well, I might not audition, but I'll go there to s be supportive of Caitlyn. That's great! Just be sure to tell the other guys. It's at the community center down the street. I want to make sure that Caitlyn has actors to take to make the whole play come true, so... Yeah. Will do. Say, you want to hang out today? Um, no thanks. I have to spread the word, but we can hang out after Caitlyn holds our auditions tonight. Sounds good. Catch you later, then. Later! Ah, okay, one down. I'm gonna need help finding these actors. Um, let's see, who could I ask? <gasps> Aaron, he would help me. All right, uh, let's see. Gotta go to his place and find out, and then maybe I can ask everyone else on the neighborhood. I just, uh, I need someone to help me with this. And, yes. Um, let's see. Here's his house. 
Um. There we go. <laughs> hey, Erin. Hey, Afma. What brings you by? May I come in? I need to talk to you about this project Caitlin is working on, and I need help finding people. Sure. Come on in. Hey, Caitlin. You found anyone to audition for the play yet? No. The only person who wants to do it is Kawaii-chan, and that isn't happening. Why not? Why do you think she talks in third person and adds on to the character names? Uh, I see. Well, I mean, you could always do a modern version of the play. Right. Uh, that might actually appeal to this generation. Well, I have always wanted to write a play. Maybe I can put a creative spin on it. That's the spirit. If you need any help, let me know. I've been in many a Romeo and Juliet play. Really? Then why don't you audition? <laughs> this Romeo is retired. <sighs> Without a Romeo and Juliet, I don't see this play happening. I've never even heard of something like a neighborhood play. Who came up with that dumb idea? Hey, Caitlin! Afmo, any luck? <sighs> no. No one wants to audition. I guess everyone in the neighborhood has a bit of stage fright. Well, I'm sorry to disappoint you and Zane, but I don't think this is going to work out after all. Honestly, I think I'm more disappointed than anyone else. I'll just go home. Oh, Caitlin! Uh, oh, wait, wait! Uh, Caitlin! I'll be Juliet! Really? Yes! Absolutely. That's nice of you, Afmao, but where are we going to find a Romeo? <laughs> Caitlin, are you kidding me? There's so many. I'll do it. What? what? Uh, uh, Aaron, you know that involves a kiss, right? Yeah, I know. <laughs> really, you guys? Oh, this is perfect. W wait, Caitlin, d uh, don't you have to audition him? Against who? No one else but Athmau and Aaron want to do this. Not true! <laughs> Romeo has come out of retirement! In your dreams. Caitlin, sign me up. M me too! Wait. You guys aren't doing this because Athmau all of a sudden is auditioning, are you? What? N no! Absolutely not! Yes! Travis! Travis! What? I'm honest! So you're telling me... Even if you don't land the part of Romeo, you'll still be in the play? Of course. Alright, we'll reschedule. Auditions will be held tomorrow, then. Oh, this is my chance! <laughs> Dream on, Garth! You couldn't even act cool if it was to save your life. So, Athmau, do you like cherry breath mints? Travis! Travis!